In other words, I've been spending money when I've been coming here. You understand? Ten lies. Huh. No, we Muslims no, can't lie. Come on. I'm old enough to be your uncle. Don't call me a liar, yeah? Come on. Okay. All right, all right. So, yeah, Usman Ali. Yeah. Okay. U.S. or O.S.? Huh? U.S. or O.S.? Uh, U.S. M.A.N. Some people put a U.T.H. M.A.N. Arabic style. Okay, yeah. Why well, Usman, Uthman? Same thing, same thing. Okay. Uh, can I read to you a verse from the Bible? And you can explain to me. All right? Now, <clears throat> and uh, you know, we Muslims believe in our Quran from the beginning to the end. And as a Christian, do you believe in your Bible? Uh, sorry, you've been lovely. I'm old. Uh, I want to hear you. Yes, absolutely. So you believe everything in the Bible from the beginning to the end? Yes. Yeah, okay. In uh, every Christian Bible, in the New Testament, okay, because the Bible is made up of the Old Testament and the New Testament, okay? So in the new in every Christian Bible in the New Testament, in the first book of Timothy, chapter 2, verse 11, in the Bible it says, A woman should learn in quietness and full submission. That's verse 11. Now, first book of Timothy, chapter 2, verse 12. The next verse it says, I do not permit a woman to teach or to have authority over a man. In the Bible it says, a woman, she must be silent. Do you believe in this verse in the Bible, madam? First of all, you've taken one verse and yes. plucked it out of context. I read two okay, verses. Is, okay, two verses. Yeah. Okay, that is exactly what Satan did when he tempted Jesus. But I'm he not Satan. from the scripture, yeah. and he took it out of context, and he twisted it. So you can take one little verse, and yeah. you can twist it and make it mean whatever you want. But so if I'm the word... Gonna, so I'm going to ask you, tell me, what is the book of 1 to be about? Context. Who wrote it? Okay. Who, did, who was he writing it to? Okay. What is what about, the subject? What, the what is the context? They don't allow a woman to be educated. Uh, it should be some manners because we are speaking. So you wait till we finish, okay? Otherwise, uh, you know, talking about the Taliban, we can speak. But at the moment, it's a Muslim speaking against a Christian. Sir, all right? Okay. Okay. So, so, uh, so you actually believe in this verse, do you? Can you answer my question and then I'll answer yours? Okay, what was the question again? Okay. Who wrote the book of 1 Timothy? Who was he writing the book to? Who was the intended audience? Okay, the first book of Timothy is in the Christian Bible, yes? Yes. Yes? So Paul wrote most of the books in the New Testament, yes? Yes, and who was the audience? Right. So Paul wrote this, is it? Very good, but you... Yes, inspired by so, the Holy Spirit. So Paul wrote this, yes? Yes, inspired by the Holy Spirit. And... And this is the same Paul who before he was so anti-Christian. He could not tolerate the Christians. And yet the same Paul has written most of the books in the New Testament of your Christian Bible. Yes, that is the amazing thing that God does. Right. When you so, repent and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, you will be so, absolutely transformed. So what Paul wrote... Oh, can I finish this? Yes. So as you are now attacking Christianity and making this your mission every day, when you repent and turn from following your false prophet, your false religion... Why you have to Jesus insult? No, it's not false. It's true prophet. No insults. Can be the same no, no insults. You see, there's a difference between you Christians and us Muslims. We Muslims say we believe in all the prophets. And no Muslim... Can I, can I just uh, finish? Uh, you can queue up, I'll uh, talk to you afterward. Okay, please. Uh, one Muslim from this side, one Christian from that side. Okay, so we Muslims, we believe in all the prophets. And no Muslim anywhere should or will insult any prophet, okay? We talk about them in a nice manner, using nice language, 
why is it that you Christians, when we speak with you, you start insulting? It is not a good idea, not a right way of uh, having a dialogue, a debate, all right? Yeah. So no insults, please. Okay, okay. Can right. I respond? Okay. Okay, it is written in yeah. the Bible, in the Word of God, it is written. Yeah. Who is the liar? It yeah. is the man who denies that Jesus is the Christ. Okay. Such a man is the Antichrist. He denies the Father and the Son. Yeah. No one who denies the Son has the Father. Whoever acknowledges the Son has the Father also. Okay. So does Muhammad deny the Father and the Son? Are you talking to me? You have to go to our prophet. Okay, let me no, tell you. Let no, me no, tell no. you. Okay, so my point is. It's simple. You haven't answered my question, so I'll just make my I'm point. Going to, I'm going to. Let me just make my point, then you can respond. Okay? So it's not my. It's not for me the idea that Muhammad is a false prophet. This is no, what again, you say. Uh, why you use that according word? According to the scripture, Muhammad is a false prophet. No, again, you are using the same thing. According to Word of God. Okay, you're using the, the same thing again. How okay. come? So how come? From me, it's from, it's from this. This is okay, this. okay, okay. Open the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 18, verse 18. <laughs> That's talking about the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And don't use the word false prophet. He was a rightful prophet. He was a truthful prophet. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was a genuine prophet. As Allah mentions in our Quran in Surah Al Fath. The victory, Surah, chapter number 48, Ayah, verse number 29. In the beginning of the verse number 29, Allah says, Muhammadur Rasulullah. Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the messenger, is the prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All right? Now, read the book of Deuteronomy from your Bible, chapter 18, verse 18. What does it say? Yes, I will just a minute. It talks about a prophet. They, I'm giving you this verse. That's Muhammad there. The the you're talking to me. Madam, you're talking to me. Okay. That's why I told you. Open the book of Deuteronomy. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 18, verse 18 in your Old Testament. What does it say in the Bible? A bit louder. The Lord said to me, what they say is good. I will raise up for them a prophet like you. Okay. So this is Moses. Yeah. So like Moses. Prophet has to be has to be a Jew. Okay. Like Moses, it says. Like you from among their brothers. I will put my words in his mouth, and he will tell them everything I command him. Okay. If anyone does not listen to the, my words that the prophet speaks in my name, yeah. I myself will call him to account. Okay, who is this okay. prophet? Madam, who is this prophet? Jesus Christ. As in, ah, as hold on this in Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Excuse me, did you say, Madam, did you say this prophet was Jesus? But you telling us Jesus was God. Jesus is, Jesus is the eternal Son of God. Jesus no, is no. Answer the question. And he's also a king. No. And he's also a priest. Do you, priest. madam, do you as Christian believe that Jesus was God? Yes or no? Jesus is the eternal Son of God. No. Answer. Is he God? No, you make. Answer the question. Is Jesus God? Yes. The beginning was the word. The word was with God. And the word was Make God. it simple. God in the beginning. So was Jesus God? In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word is God. Okay, was Jesus God? The Word of God is God. So was the Word of God Jesus, yes? Yes? Come on. The Word of God is Jesus. Right, and you are saying the Word of God is Jesus, and you are telling us Jesus was God, yes? Jesus is God. So how comes when you read the book of so madam how comes when you read the book of Deuteronomy in the Old Testament of your Bible it mentions a prophet I will send you a prophet from amongst your brethren okay and you said that prophet was Jesus so 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 can you make up your mind was Jesus God or was Jesus a prophet God and Jesus is a prophet. So, prophet Jesus, was he sent by God Jesus? Yes or no? Yes. So, God Jesus sent prophet Jesus, yes? Yes? 
uh, use. You can't talk now. Have a nice day. Thank you. Come on. So was God? Je was God? Okay. You you just told me that Jesus was God. No, Jesus is God. The son of God. Okay. So you saying Jesus is God, then you also. The Bible says Jesus. And then is Jesus also a prophet? So is Jesus is Jesus the prophet of God Jesus? Yes or no? No. So whose prophet is Jesus? Jesus. What is the definition of a prophet? A prophet is a human being. Madam, 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 you need our help now. Uh, she couldn't answer, so she. No, no, I mean, uh, you were talking. Don't you have confidence? No, she I need to find a verse. There are many, many verses in here. Wait, it doesn't matter. I'll make it simple in simple English, you know. Jesus, I'm, no, no, Jesus. Let, me, let me find the verse. Let me find the verse. So you want to stop talking to me? You want to stop talking to me? I just gave you uh, not many examples, and uh, that's it. Your confidence is gone. Of course not. I'm going to answer. The word of God. The word of God is living okay. and active. So answer me. Than a sword. So answer me. So uh, yes. Yes, yes. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Are you trying to find out in the Bible? So are you trying to find a verse from the Bible which will tell us that Jesus is God? Yes or no? Are you con? I, I'm responding about um, okay. You're taking a long time. For Moses said, the Lord your loudly. God will raise up Sorry, I want to hear you when you speak loudly. For Moses said, the Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet like me from among your own people. Yeah. You must listen to everything he tells you. Okay. Anyone who does not listen to him will be completely so, from among his people. So you just, Indeed, so you see, just, let me finish. All yeah. the prophets from Samuel on, yeah. as many as have spoken, have foretold these days. And you are heirs of the prophets and of the covenant of God made your father. He said to Abraham, so you who just said, all people on earth will be blessed. When God raised up his servant, he sent him first to you to bless you by turning each of you from your way. Okay. Wait. Okay. Okay. Hang on. Uh, I need uh, to read the book. Uh, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. Madam. So, madam. So you. Yeah, that's enough. It is explaining. Okay. Yes. First in Deuteronomy eighteen eighteen is about Jesus Christ. Okay. That Jesus is it's a prophet. Not about Muhammad. No, no. Are you saying that Jesus was a prophet? Yes. He's a prophet. So when you say Jesus was a prophet, madam, when you say when you are telling us Jesus was a prophet, 